<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. <laughs> this is Life Uninterrupted. And if you haven't been here before, thanks again for joining. Mm -hmm. This is episode four of Keeping Up with the Johnsons. Yes. We don't do these very often. We are going to start doing them every two weeks now so that you guys get an idea of what we're doing, where we're doing it, and hopefully kind of come along for the ride. And get to know us a little bit better yeah. as well. Yeah. And oh, by the way, welcome to our home. We're sitting here in our kitchen, living room, sitting area. Yes. Yeah. So I was going to say, we, we talked a couple of videos ago about doing these on a regular basis, and we just got sidetracked doing lots of other things. But I think uh, given some feedback from some of our subscribers, they really want to get to know us better. Mm -hmm. So we are now committed to doing these every two weeks. And in between the episodes, we'll do a location video or a DIY or a product demo, something like that. Yes. Whatever we feel like doing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah so what have we been up to? We've been, been up, up to a lot. To a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think we just came off of our 30-day boondocking challenge. Well, I know yep. we, we did. And we moved around quite a bit through the Southwest. We hit Arizona, Nevada, California, California. and now we're back in Arizona again. We've been boondocking kind of off and on. Um, we're back in a, a park right now in a Thousand Trails Park in Yuma. A really nice one. Arab uh, Acres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a combination nice. RV park and, and park model park. Yes. But nice, quiet, 55 plus community, so it's yeah. you know, nice and quiet. It's very nice, and the sites are really wide, and I'm actually going to do a review. I love to do reviews of the RV parks, especially the really nice ones, so I look forward to doing a review of this one as well. And we have some friends here, which just, you know, adds a, a cherry on top to... Um, being here at this particular park in Yuma, we're close to uh, Los Algodones, where we're going to go and get some dental work done. Which is and, Mexico. Oh yes, Algodones, Mexico, right? Um, we're going to get some dental work done and we will bring you along for that as well. This will be our first experience actually going to get our own dental work done. Um, years ago, we took our oldest son across the border to get some pretty expensive dental work done. It worked out really well, so we're going to do it again. And it's kind of the mecca, I think, for um, Americans crossing the border and, and looking for dental, optical, all kinds of things. As far as we know, um, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe most or all of the dentists are are trained dentists they're actually doctors of dental science mm -hmm. and a lot of them are trained in the u.s so yeah I, and educated I that's in the u.s true. yeah prices vary from our understanding you need to shop around but um some friends of ours were telling us that they went i think it was last week they went down mm -hmm. there and as they're walking along they're kind of getting grabbed by the arm <laughs> saying hey do you need dental work come into my dental practice so i anticipate it's going to be really interesting for us I don't know about the prices on lots of other things, but I think right. a cleaning runs anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars. Cleaning, yeah, exam, and X-rays. We actually have a coupon, um, two coupons yeah. for an exam, cleaning, and X-rays. I think it covered all three. You mm -hmm. may have just said that. I did. Yeah, for twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Pete and repeat. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we can move on. Yeah, so here we are. We are in Yuma and we're going to take the opportunity, as we mentioned, to get some dental work done, a few little things on the rig we want to get done. And we're here waiting, spending some time before the um, Family Medical, really, the Family Motor Coach Association FMCA convention. It's the 101st convention down in Tucson. So, kind of keeping right. our fingers crossed on that one. Yep, stick around. Because at the end of the video, we're going to talk about the great toilet paper apocalypse. Yes, yes. So we are, <laughs> we're trying to kind of bide our time right now, waiting for the FMCA convention to take place. That's at the end of March. The problem is with this whole um, coronavirus scare right now, I and mean, we don't want to make light of it at all. Yeah. Um, but with this scare, a lot of events are being canceled around the U.S. and... So far, FMCA says that they're still going to hold their convention. They're not going to cancel, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, so everyone who are 
of you that are sports fans, basketball, you know, all the NCAA tournaments, I think, have all been canceled now. The NBA suspended their season. I'm not a huge sports fan. We just hear this in bits and pieces on the news. And being in Yuma, uh, this is the weekend of the Yuma Air Show. Oh, yes. So we're get, we were going to go to that tomorrow. Just got news today that they canceled that. Um, we talked about where we've been. Do you want to talk a little bit about where we're going? Right. Well, if the FMCA convention isn't canceled, we'll be going to Tucson in another week and a half. Yes. We're spending a few days there, dry mm -hmm. camping for that. We really hope that they, they put that on because we've been looking forward to that for so long. I know a lot of people have. We have. Our hearts go out to those executives at FMCA. This yeah. must be a truly difficult time for them going back and forth because I'm sure they're getting the push from cancel it to don't cancel it and right. everything in between. So. Yeah, and, and the biggest thing, again, we go back to personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, if you feel like you've been around someone who might be sick, I mean, you really have to take care of yourself. Yes, right? yes. Don't depend on anyone else to take care of you. Exactly. Right? Yeah, good point. All right. So after the FMCA convention, our plans, um, if we can go forward with them, then is to go down to Puerto Penasco, Mexico. We did a video on that um, almost a year ago. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's a, one of the first places we yeah. headed when we started this journey. Almost a year, yeah. Yeah. Well, we did a video on that. We're headed back down to Puerto Penasco, barring any recommendations um, that we don't travel to Mexico. And as a matter right. of fact, on my phone this morning, I received a level three alert for Mexico that said, advise not to travel. Um, I don't know, we're still on the fence as yeah. far as that goes. If it says don't travel, then of course we won't. But otherwise, I don't know. We're not, course, go ahead. You know, the other fear is also that the borders may be closed. So we're only going down for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Who knows what can happen in two weeks? A lot certainly can happen yeah. in two weeks. We get down there for whatever reason, you know, the borders get closed to the U.S. You know, most likely U.S. citizens will be able to come back in, much like all the yes. other borders, you know, they're closed to European countries right now. Yeah. But you never know. You never know what might happen. There might be a hot spot that, you know, prevents us from getting back. Mm -hmm. you know into the u.s that mm -hmm. would be a bummer um yeah uh, yes and and that's something that we are definitely going to monitor and i can't remember the website it's something.state.gov is it travel, travel uh yes it's state it's the travel website from the state department we'll we'll put a link up yes in, in the video to that and that's what we're monitoring on a regular basis in fact you know it, the same goes for um going down to algodonas right now we don't have any concerns our plans are to go down there um, rocky points a few weeks off we'll just have to kind of play it by ear and see what happens but ooh, are we looking forward to a little bit of beach time that's our happy place <laughs> okay, after Rocky Point, we don't have solid plans yet, but we're most likely going to head up northern part of Arizona and then possibly into Colorado because I know that there's a lot of boondocking opportunities there. And boy, have to tell you, after boondocking for 30 days and having those wide open spaces and that peace and tranquility, that's my favorite now. I love boondocking. Yeah, you know, we're in kind of tight quarters, not as tight as the Las Vegas Thousand Trails oh, Park. No. <laughs> but there's just something about um, how your mind changes mm -hmm. when you're out. Those of you who boondock know exactly what we're talking about. The freedom you have. It's, it's nice to, you know, if you want to get out of the rig in the morning half naked or completely naked. Yeah, I guess you could. It's huh? up to you. <laughs> Nobody's around. Uh, you know, we usually just open the door, <clears throat> the dogs will run out and do their business and yeah, come can't back in. obviously can't do that in an RV park. So we, no. we certainly do miss the freedom. Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah. It, and a friend of ours put it perfectly. She said that you feel a little more confined in an RV park and boondocking. I think yeah. that's it. That's exactly what it is. We feel a little more confined, yeah. but looking forward to getting back to boondocking. And being in cooler 70 degree, 70, 80 degree climates. So yeah, I think fun. I think northern Arizona, southern Utah, southern Colorado. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, by the way, so before I forget about it, uh, an update on our motorhome. A little bit of a segue oh, here. Yeah. A lot of you have been asking how the motorhome's been doing since we had the engine rebuilt and running like a top. 
Got just under a thousand miles on it, so we can almost start towing. The thousand mile mark is where we can start towing the Jeep again. But running beautifully, not a leak, not a drip, runs like a brand new engine, which it is essentially. Mm -hmm. So everything's going good there. So thanks to you who have been asking about that. Yes. And we have some very exciting news. We now have Life Uninterrupted merchandise. We have t-shirts, we have tank tops, sweatshirts, hoodies, and I believe long sleeve t-shirts. Brian and I have been working on these t-shirts for at least a year, trying to come up with some type of logo that wasn't specific to Life Uninterrupted, but that was more encompassing to the entire RV community and those who just love to wander, who feel free, um, who look are looking for that that freedom to get out and explore and, and go across the United States. And we came up with Nomad Tribe. So we have three different designs. We have one that's called a sunrise. We have one that has the path less traveled or the road less traveled, I should say. And then the third one is an explorer t-shirt. We hope that you like them as much as we do. We we're looking, as I said, for something that's all-encompassing, and we hope we found it. We would love to get your comments on, on these t-shirts, what you think. Um, the store is up and running. I think, and beyond that, mm -hmm. leave comments below uh, with respect to which t-shirt you think I designed and which t-shirt you oh, think. Oh, I like that. Or which design was Shauna's idea and which design was my idea. Right. So, yes. See if you're right. And you can find the t-shirts. I believe they're running at the bottom of this video. Um, it's just a small selection. I think it's actually right in the description section below the video. Is that right? I'm not sure. We haven't seen okay. it, to be honest with you. I have. Oh. I just can't remember if it's in the description section. It's below the video. If you look below, but you'll see a small selection of them. You actually have to click on it and go to the websites on Teespring uh, to see all the different types and the different colors. So last week's video was Las Vegas Part 1. We did a bunch of stuff there. Next week's video will be Las Vegas Part 2, so mm -hmm. be sure to check that out. And again, it's just kind of a, the theme is to do things in Las Vegas that they're kind of off the beaten path. We, mm -hmm. we do throw some typical stuff in there only because you have to go through some of the typical stuff to get some of the to some of the off the beaten path stuff. The unique stuff, yes, absolutely. Yeah, even though some of the, the activities are gonna be actually on the, the new strip, it's it's something that unless you really seek out, you're really not gonna to go take a look at, at least. We, we wouldn't have, for the most part, we wouldn't have had any idea that these different sites or these 10 hidden gems were even out there unless we asked the locals. So, because we yeah. would have gone, you know, just to the, the very popular um, outside strip type touristy stuff. So, mm -hmm. hope you enjoy these. And that, so, I think that's it. That leads into what we call the TP apocalypse. Yes, how did I forget that? So we, we talked earlier about you know the, the, the fear mongering and the panic and the panic buying and all of the stuff that goes along with that. We saw a clip on the news, I forget which channel, I think it was in a Walmart or, or some big store like that. Three ladies <laughs> were duking it out, Terrible. pulling each other's hair, just hitting each other and for a package of toilet paper. No. Enough said. Was that a six pack or was that like I a I don't know, it was like a, it was like a, a big, I don't know, 10 or 12 pack. I don't know what it was. But. And the one lady, her entire cart was full of these it was big full. packs of toilet paper. She was beating some other woman down because she wanted to get the <gasps> last pack that... People. People. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Not a good thing. No. So we went to Sam's Club. And just for the fun of it. Yeah. So we, we had heard a lot of the stuff going on. We needed yeah. to go to Sam's Club anyway because mm -hmm. we wanted to get kind of some larger packages of stuff to be able to break it down and have, you know, more economical meals and things like that. Uh, you know, getting into Sam's Club wasn't a big deal. It was much like kind of the oh, Chris, yeah. Christmas holiday. It was kind of that busy rush feeling. Nothing like the Costco's that we've been hearing about no. with lines wrapped around the store. But we kind of sat back and observed people. At least I did. Mm-hmm. And you could just sense the uh, the panic 
in them. Yeah, there's a lot of tension. Mm -hmm. You can you can just you can sense that. You can see it. You can yeah. see it in their face, the way they were walking, the way they were behaving. We went about our business, you know, bought some food, some large packages of chicken, things like that. So again, we could break down in for more economical meals. Mm -hmm. And we kept seeing carts, not many, with the big industrial boxes of toilet paper. I mean, we're talking about the big rolls that you normally see in commercial bathrooms that go into the dispensers and the stalls. One after another, we saw people with those. And soon that ended. So we said, well, let's go back and see what the toilet paper section looks like. We go back, tons of people back there, nothing on the shelves. Insane. Um, I, I, I'm at a loss for words. I just can't grasp what is so important about toilet paper. I can't either. Why? If you know, put yeah. it in the comments. Why? 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 Why toilet paper? Hand sanitizer. We went to the hand sanitizer. Not that we needed any. I personally don't like using hand sanitizer. I almost always, I almost never use it. I, I just one of my things. You're a soap and water guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we just went by the aisle to see every antibacterial bar soap was gone. Every package, everything. every everything, yes. everything antibacterial yes. was gone. All the disinfecting wipes gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. it. I get that people want to obviously keep themselves clean, but you should be doing that anyway. Yes. I mean, you should be disinfecting and cleaning anyway. I don't, right. I don't understand the run on toilet paper. I, maybe people are reselling it. I have heard that. And if that's the case... Shame on you. Shame on you people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not being judgmental, but come on. So, we couldn't get any toilet paper. And we thought, hey, this, this is... We could actually make something of this and kind of make fun of it. Well, and okay, and let's let's preface this with, we did need a little toilet paper. I mean, we're yeah. getting kind of low, yeah. so we needed to have needed something. Some. And we're not going to run all around town. We're not going to pay, you know, $25 for a six-pack on, on Amazon. No toilet paper to be found. Right. So, what we did buy, <laughs> a 1,200-pack of napkins. Uh, this will last us about 14 years. <laughs> so I think we're good. I think we bought it just to make a statement should, more than yeah. anything. <laughs> should the zombie apocalypse ever happen, we're good. I At least, pretty you hilarious. know, to be able to clean ourselves. Yes. Anyway, that was that was sort of a tongue-in-cheek thing that we decided to do. But, okay. What are you going to do? Let us know what you think. Yes. H have you have you panicked? I mean, just be honest. Have you panicked and gone out and, and bought toilet paper or tried to go out and buy toilet paper and none on the shelves? What do you do? What have you done? <laughs> That's what we've done. So what have you done? Crazy. And if you are in a panic about toilet paper <laughs> and you can't find it anywhere, remember, you can use all kinds of different things yes. if you really have to. Enough with all that. Bottom line is, just keep yourself healthy, wash yourself, wash your hands, don't touch your face, mm -hmm. like I've done multiple times during the video. If you're not feeling well, <laughs> stay in your RV. That's right. I mean, self-quarantine, mm -hmm. if that's the case. But just remember, more likely than not, you're going to be just fine. Yes. Don't panic. Yeah. So with that, we're going to wrap it up. Until next time. See ya. We'll see ya.